So today I'm at the Brass Armadillo, which is an antique mall near my house. I haven't been here in a little while. So I was excited to get in here and spend some time looking around. I was hoping to find some things that I could maybe buy and then flip online for a profit. They always have beautiful Fenton here, but it's always marked pretty high, of course. I love looking at them though, in person. It's so nice to see the high-end stuff in person. I was looking at this little saddle. We're into horses here, my daughter's ride. It's a very small saddle though, but it was cute. I had to look at, I had to check it out. And we actually have a horse named Primrose, which is where I got my name for my channel and my eBay store. I saw this little pig down at the bottom. It's like a bank. I thought he was so funny. But he was marked made in China and he was $25. I saw a shelf with a bunch of owls, so I had to stop and look. There's some really interesting owls on this shelf, but I didn't find anything that I could make some money on. I was trying to get to that, I think it's Shawnee in the back there. I grab it in a second. It's fun to look through everything at antique malls. This guy, yeah, he was so cute. I think um, $20, but when I looked him up, he only sells for about 30 to 35 So I couldn't pay $20 for him. This Avon perfume bottle was so cool still has the perfume in it. This little box is adorable. I have not seen a Boyd's Bear trinket box and it was $16.99. So cute. So then I found a shelf full of elephants and I was actually looking for elephants on this day because this week on Knickknacks, the featured item is elephants. So I thought it'd be fun to find one elephant to purchase at this antique mall that I could list on Knickknacks. If you're not familiar with Knickknacks, it is the Crazy Lamp Lady, Jocelyn's um, platform through District so if you want to check it out, go to knickknacks.net. I'll put it up at the bottom of the screen. It's a really fun place to buy um, vintage and antique items. So check it out. Here's a really cool statue, but this one was $50. It was pretty heavy. I loved this little tiered tray. It was very boho. They only wanted $14.50. I went back and forth with this. Should I have picked this up? I'm really kind of wishing I did. I don't know. I might have to go back and get it. It was so cool. This was a pretty little piece of Czech glass for $22. This was a more modern glass ashtray for $25. Then I saw some paperweights. They were marked as Murano. This one was $20. I thought this one was really interesting looking but I did not buy any of these. St. Patrick's Day is almost here. This is a pretty little dish made in Ireland. I 
I really loved this vase. This is a left-in vase. It's so adorable for $18. If it wasn't so close to St. Patrick's Day, maybe I would have bought it. But I don't know. It's probably worth about $18. It was cute, though. This is a beautiful vase. I liked this as well. Made in Ireland. should ask my daughter if she wants to put this in her yard. <laughs> Saw this Tanala kitty sitting here. He was really cool. But I just couldn't pay $49 for him. And next to the cat I saw this vase that caught my eye. It is a Czech vase. For $20. It was very pretty. I liked this a lot. Then I found this shelf that had a bunch of art glass for really low prices. It's probably Chinese glass, but I'm not completely sure. It was fun to look at all of them, but I did not buy any of these pieces. This purple vase on the left caught my eye in this cabinet. I just had to take a look at it. And it's always nerve wracking trying to open these cabinets up. But this one was so pretty. It is Fenton. I was afraid to pick this bottle up, but it was a crystal perfume bottle for $28.50. I couldn't read the actual brand on it, but it was very pretty. And I saw this cute little vase. It's cobalt blue glass with silver overlay made in Italy. And they only wanted $8. So I looked this up and I was surprised to see that they don't sell for that much more. So I had to leave that behind. I found a booth that had a bunch of elephants, so I was checking these out. This one, I think, said Taiwan on that sticker, if I remember right. It was pretty cute. They had a bunch of stone elephants. This one was $15. And this cute one in the back here was $12.99. There were a lot of cute elephants to choose from. I was really trying to be picky about it and find the one that spoke to me the most. She also had some cats. I think I've bought things from this booth before. Check out this awesome art glass turtle. I don't know if it's vintage. This looks like some kind of modern sticker on it. But he was $20. I wonder if I should have grabbed him. He's so cool. Here's a cute little Shawnee picture for $15, which is not a bad price. So as you can see, there's just a lot of elephants to choose from. I was having a hard time picking something. This elephant on the bottom shelf is solid wood. A carved elephant. I really liked him. And I almost bought him because he was only $10.99. And he was so pretty. 
but his tusks were really loose and on the verge of falling out and I just didn't think I should buy him. This was a cute little owl sun catcher for $3.99. Very cute. And I was back to the elephant shelf again. There were so many cute ones to choose from. These were candles. They were so neat looking. But I ended up leaving this booth and not taking anything. She had a lot of great items with pretty nice prices as well. I'll definitely be back to this booth at some point. Then I ventured over to the booth that always has a ton of glass and I saw this glass trinket box of this elephant. I was gonna try to get into the case, but I ended up looking under the shelf and it was $50. There's always amazing items in that booth. This is the same booth and I saw this purple glass elephant for $30. Such a pretty color of purple. Here's another cute little ceramic elephant. He was $4. But he did have broken tusks, so I couldn't take him. Here's just a pretty view of that same booth with all their cranberry glass all together. I always have to stop in and look at this booth items. There's amazing things in here. Here's a cute little elephant. Little metal bank. This guy was so cool. He's actually the elephant I chose to purchase. He was $4. Made in Hong Kong. But I did find some more on my way out. So I had to stop and look at them. The little sticker price tag fell off, but I did put it back. They also had some paperweights in this booth. Really pretty. They were both $25. I didn't look at that larger one there in the middle. It looks like an apple. Then I had to stop at one of my favorite booths. There's always great items and pretty reasonable prices on things I've bought from this booth before. This is a pretty Westmoreland dish. Um, I think it's priced at $19 and that's pretty much what it goes for online. And then I saw this cat staring at me. I thought he was pretty fabulous. And he was only ten dollars. So I just had to take him with me. He's in the cart. The last booth I stopped in had some pretty neat things. I loved these two art glass owls. There may have been some room to make some money on those. I liked this brass cat statue as well. And then check out this really large cat statue standing here. He is awesome. He was $38.99, not too bad. Very fun. Then I saw these two glass bowls on the shelf. They interested me. They were $8.99 for both and they were signed. So I did decide to buy these. 
So here's everything I got at the antique mall. I spent $24.66. I mean, I couldn't resist this cat. I know it's a hobbyist piece. Um, not made in Japan or anything, but um, for only $10, I couldn't leave it there. And this elephant, I wanted to find that one elephant item to put on knickknacks. So I found a bunch of elephants, as you saw, but this guy I couldn't resist. He is so cute. He is marked Hong Kong. He is adorable for $4. And these two bowls, I couldn't leave those behind. It was $8.99 for both, and they are signed. So I have to look up some more information, but I think it says Sandra Gerber. And a quick look up while I was in the antique mall, I was seeing some of her art and it was pretty expensive. It was like glass metal art. And if it's the same artist, there were some really pricey things. Um, not sure how much these bowls are worth, but they are pretty and they are glass. So I took a chance on those. But yeah, that was a fun trip at uh, to the antique mall. Well, that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, could you give it a thumbs up? And I will see you in the next one. Bye.